And finally for today's program, let's turn to Benjamin Baker for a look at Adventist history. This week, we'll get a glimpse into the life of the youngest person ever elected as an officer of the Adventist World Church. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. This week, on October 7, in 1852, Frederica House was born near Elmira, New York. Raised in a large household that was not Adventist, House first encountered the message at seven, but actually accepted the faith while a student at Battle Creek more than 10 years later. In her early 20s, House was integral to the administration of the Adventist Church. In August 10 and 11 of 1875, she was elected secretary of the Seventh-day Adventist Publishing Association, then our only publishing house, and treasurer of the Michigan Conference, then the largest conference. Four days later, she was unanimously elected treasurer of the General Conference, becoming the second of three women to hold the position and one of three women in the history of the church to serve as an executive officer of the General Conference. Additionally, when elected, she was 22 years old and unmarried, thus the youngest and the only single person ever elected as an officer of the General Conference. Sisley would get married months later on October 27 to William Conqueror Sisley of the storied Sisley family of early Adventism, the ceremony performed by Uriah Smith. William was a significant pioneer in his own right. The couple would give their lives in service to their church. Serving as missionaries in England, William's native country, from 1901 and staying until 1918 when they went on to retire in Nashville, Tennessee, USA. William died on September 23, 1932, after 55 years of marriage. Frederica followed him on January 25, 1934, age 81. And that was This Week in Adventist History.